One County West and the Great Smokies, Mike and Daniel are loading in for their biggest engineering challenge yet. What do you think? We start straightening this trail up just a little bit. Well, anytime you can make it easier on yourself, you'd be a fool not to. In order to carry in a large volume of ingredients, as well as carry out hundreds of gallons of shine, they'll need to build a series of steps and bridges rising 600 feet over a half mile of distance to the flat protected area ideal for a deep wood still site. Once we get built in, the payoff is gonna be tremendous. I believe we'll make more liquor and more money this year than anybody ever has. Hey, this is the level we can walk down through here drunk. Yeah. I'm telling you. Mike, I think uh, this would be enough. You know, I was actually thinking if we take one of those boards and uh, stand it up, make a good flat level spot where we can walk here to keep somebody from getting hurt. The further we go up, the steeper it gets, so we're gonna put a makeshift retaining wall, pull the dirt down, make it flat. We need to notch a board for that pipe. Notch a board for the pipe. Last year, we put in a 350-gallon water reservoir, and it got our water pipe sitting right dead in the damn way where we need to build this walkway. So we take our tube of 12, notch it out. What do you think there, babe? So we lay it right over that pipe where our board be nice and level. But you hit my damn hand. Why? That won't hurt just a minute. We can pull the dirt into the board and cover the pipe as well. Now, that looks a lot better. Oh, yeah. And it makes it nice and flat where we can get up to the next tier. Rather than building steps up over this, I think it'd be good to have a walk bridge to walk across that thing. I think it'll be better to walk flat right up there as it will to try to climb over it. I'd say it can be done. We decided we're going to go across the ravine, 20 foot to right here, try to make a walk bridge. I'm thinking that right there is a straight tree. It looks like it's about 40 feet. Use it for foot logs and then use the boards we've got down there. Deck it out. Yep. We love our trees, but I love my knees and my back and my ass a lot more. <laughs> I do too. Right where we wanted it to fall, babe. Now that we got our tree down where we want it, we got to delam it, uh, cut it in our section, and we got to run it over, get it laid to where we want it to build this bridge. Uh, ran it down, my mighty. Whew. There she is. Our ultimate goal is to have this big distillery out in the woods, you know. But in order for that to happen, we've got to go through hell and high water to get there. But you know what? It's going to be worth it in the end when we get it finished. One more step, baby. Ah. There ain't a damn thing with wheels, gears, tracks, or tires, or an engine that I can't run. I can just do it. Three counties east of North Carolina, Josh brings out the big guns to break ground on a new bunker-style still site. I had to decide to drive it up the creek. I'm already going to make a big enough eyesore out there working in the middle of the woods. I don't need a road bed going to it. Hi! Not bad for somebody that don't run one every day or never. Now that I said that, I'll probably turn this <laughs> over. <laughs> Decided I'm building a bunker style site. We're going to dig a hole, build a frame. It's going to be totally camouflaged, hid from the air. Hot dog, I love big boys' toys. Due to the stable temperatures and concealment offered by a below-ground still site, the vast network of caves and abandoned mining tunnels in the Great Smoky Mountains have long provided a haven for moonshiners dating back to the Civil War. And Josh is following in that tradition with a subterranean still site of his own. I'm no stranger to building an underground still site. Built one, it flooded out and molded. And... Well, we learned all the things not to do. This year, I'm going to make my masterpiece. It's going to be great. It's getting real soft in here. This ain't good. This is what they call sugar dirt. It's just more mica. It's just so much of that. Look at that. That looked like a rock. And the last thing I want to do is to be in there making moonshine, and then wham, just collapse on me. I can run a track hole, but all that jarring around is really bad on me. 
There's just no way I can keep on doing this right now with my back the way it is. I'm gonna take a little time off, give my back some time to heal. If I don't, I'm gonna be in a wheelchair the rest of my life. I know. Here we go, man. Yes, sir. In Franklin County, Virginia, locating a new still site with the Law Brothers often means taking a step into the past. So much liquor's been made in this county, it's amazing. You can go up any hall you want to, and you'll run up on old still site. Hey, this is old still site. Yeah. A lot of history right here. Yeah. Must be from the early 1900s. You, you I'd say the, you early 1900s. Yeah. Look at some of these stills, man. Come down here and check this out. Look where they cut it. it was cut. You can see the slices in it. Well, the law has come in and actually cut it. Here's a drain, water boxes, mason jars. Completely rotted in the ground. Yep. This right here to a moonshiner is like Graceland to an Elvis fan. Everybody wants to talk about the tradition of moonshining. This is the physical evidence. Look at yonder, still got the top on it. There's a little something in there. I've left you a little taste. I'm still got some liquor yeah. in there. Sample, I know. Henry, he got a good glass full. And we run across these jars down here. Half gallon mason jars, rusted lids on the top. That's got a not good bead Man, on sure it. sure does. Got to shaking it. Some of it looks like it's holding a bead. I believe that's a real deal. Why? Right. shine. Could be pee. Could be pee. It could be shine. It could be water. Hell, it could be pee. You never know. Yeah. i tell you one way to find out. Uh, Can't get your top off of this. Uh-oh. Uh there we go. Still had a little bead on it, didn't it? Turn it up, turn it up. We weren't sure what was in it, and I'd be dogged if Henry didn't stick his finger in it and taste it. <coughs> it's not liquor. <laughs> That's a brave man right now, because you never know what it was. I believe we could use some of these barrels here. Get a few of these, patch them up. You want to get these things loaded up? Yeah. Saving yeah. that money. Hell, this one looks good. These food-grade plastic barrels, they not cheap. Any little bit of money we can save is more money in our pocket later on. Yeah, that one right yonder's got a hole. You can see where the log come in and took a pickaxe. So we'd run a bolt through that, seal it off. They don't want you to be able to use stuff anymore, but we found out ways to patch stuff. I kind of like using those barrels. That, to me, is the moonshiner giving the middle finger right to the law man, going, you know what? You might have slowed me down just a touch, but you ain't stopped me. I just can't get over the history that's right here. But this right here is what moonshining is about. Tradition passed down from generation to generation. I can look at that rotten pot in the ground and tell what it did, what it was used for, how it really served to support a family during tough times. That's why moonshiners did what they did to begin with. Then later on, it turned into a love of moonshine. Good deal, man. Save us several hundred dollars. You ain't good. Yeah.